why would you want to get increased hydrogen inside your body? Today we're going to talk a little bit more about hyperbaric oxygen synergy with molecular hydrogen. H2, molecular hydrogen, two hydrogen molecules bound together. How does H2 synergize with O2, two oxygen molecules? What systems do we have to in increase our hydrogen levels inside of our body? Why would we want to increase the hydrogen levels inside of our body? And what type of benefits would we be able to derive if we combined higher levels of hydrogen with higher levels of oxygen inside of our body? What are the health benefits of doing something like this? Your body is somewhere between, let's say, 70 to 75% water. What is water? Water is H2O, so two hydrogen and one oxygen. And so we know that water is a critical part of our life. It's a critical part of our cell. Uh, and all the other liquids inside of our body. And so we use that hydrogen and oxygen as a way of balancing so many systems inside of our body. One is that oxygen, and again, we've covered oxygen de in detail with oxygen mechanisms, oxygen benefits, uh, the effect of oxygen on the mitochondria, the effect of oxygen on cell signaling. We also know that oxygen is an oxidant. It oxidizes things, which means ultimately it has a capacity of being a free radical and by itself has the ability to potentially damage parts of our cells, parts of our membranes. Now we know that hyperbaric's long-term benefits is improving our antioxidant system. So we have a way of internally dealing with that oxidation, but hydrogen is one of those ways. So if we have a free radical oxygen that's starting to become you know, hyperactive, and it's starting to create either membrane or cellular damage, if we can bind it to hydrogen, that is one way of taking a free radical and reducing it or making it inactive. And what we could do is we can bind the oxygen with two hydrogen. And what does that become? Water. And so as we reduce oxygen, we can save our cells and save our membranes from that free radical damage. Increased hydrogen inside of our body acts like a reducing agent. That reducing agent helps to minimize the effect of the free radicals inside of our cells, inside of our body. And there's a very difficult balance between oxidation and reduction. It's called redox. And having that balance is critical for long-term cellular health. Hydrogen and oxygen work together to maintain that balance. Increasing the hydrogen, especially doing a round of increased hydrogen before hyperbaric exposures is a great way of balancing that redox system inside of our body. Inside of our mitochondria, our body requires a hydrogen gradient in order to make ATP. So we talked about oxygen is one of the rate limiting steps to ATP production. If we don't have enough oxygen, we can't generate the ATP that we're looking for. We talked about red light, which was a cytochrome C stimulant, which helps pass the electrons from one, one carrier to the next to make sure that we keep a concentration gradient of those electrons moving. But ultimately what we're doing is we're creating a hydrogen gradient inside the inner membrane of the mitochondria. And that gradient, as the hydrogen molecule starts spilling out, that's what spins the ATP synthase, which is that last step of ATP production. So having a really high hydrogen gradient inside the inner membrane of the mitochondria is critical for that ATP production. So again, here's another piece of that puzzle. How do we make ATP? How do we make the mitochondria as healthy as possible to make as much ATP, as much energy as we can for our cells so that our cells have the energy to do their job or to heal, recover, and regenerate in case of damage or trauma? We need oxygen in order to do that. We need hydrogen in order to do that. And there's other ingredients too that we'll talk about as we go. But again, there's this great synergy between the oxygen required at the, at the ATP production level, but also the hydrogen that's required at the ATP production level. And so there's great synergy there between hydrogen and oxygen. If you're liking this information, please click the like button, please subscribe to the channel and send it to somebody you care about. We're really trying to get this information into the hands of the people who are gonna find it valuable. One more that we'll talk about is gut health. We've talked about hyperbaric and inflammatory bowel disease. And one of the things that hyperbaric does is it creates this high oxygen environment inside the gut. Why is that important? Because pathogens, you know, bacteria that are known to be pathogenic and cause disease are primarily anaerobic. Probiotic, which are the good bacteria in your gut, are primarily either aerobic or at least oxygen tolerant. And as we really increase the levels of oxygen inside of our body, inside of our gut, we can shift the microbiome environment in a way that reduces 
the pathogenic effect of the anaerobic bacteria, while also creating an environment that's actually very conducive for our probiotic to live and thrive and really shift the bacterial environment of our gut in, into a much healthier direction. Hydrogen also does the same. You know, bacteria also produce hydrogen as a byproduct. And so sometimes gut health is off because we don't have the right blend of bacteria. And so as the oxygen is helping to shift that microbiome, the hydrogen will also help to shift that microbiome. It will help us really create a very, very healthy bacterial blend inside of our small intestine, inside of our large intestine, helping our digestive system. The bacteria in our gut play a critical role in our immune system. They make up some 70% of our ability to fight infection, but they also create nutrients for us. So when we eat certain foods and we feed that microbiome, the microbiome releases byproducts. And those byproducts are often very helpful for us. The synergy between our cells and the bacteria that live inside of us really needs to be in a very delicate balance in order to make sure that they're producing all the healthy nourishment that they help provide for us. We provide for them when we eat certain foods and they provide for us with their waste products being actually some of the nourishment that we need inside of ourselves. And so again, there's this great balance between H2, hydrogen, and O2, oxygen, in terms of balancing the microbiome. Hydrogen is a gas, just like oxygen. And so if we want to increase the amount of hydrogen we're getting inside of our body, we have to somehow concentrate that gas. One of the easiest ways to do that, just like hyperbaric, we increase the pressure of oxygen. And by increasing the gradient, the pressure gradient of oxygen, when we breathe oxygen in, we can increase the amount of oxygen we're going to dissolve inside of our liquid which happens to be plasma. And by increasing the amount of oxygen in our plasma, it becomes a free floating gas that's now being able to be delivered to all the working cells that ultimately need to get access to that oxygen. Hydrogen, we could breathe in and we could also drink it. So we can increase the amount of oxygen in a liquid, just like we're doing with hyperbaric, but increase it in water. And as the increased hydrogen level lives inside that water momentarily, we can drink that increased concentration of hydrogen in the water. And that will be an increase in hydrogen gradient, which we can then use to deliver hydrogen throughout the rest of our cells and tissues that are looking for increased hydrogen. Two mechanisms that we could use to do that, we could either use a very specific type of magnesium, and when we put that magnesium inside water, ultimately hydrogen gas is released. And so here are just two magnesium tablets. If I put them inside water and I let them sit, you can see the hydrogen gas coming from those two magnesium tablets. Now we would just wait for that hydrogen to gas off gas from the magnesium. The magnesium will completely dissolve inside that water. And then we can drink that water and that water will have an increased hydrogen content. This is a water, uh, water filter that actually removes the oxygen. So it's actually going to be a, a mechanism that's cleaving oxygen off of the hydrogen. As we're doing this, it's actually pulling the oxygen out from the bottom of this unit and the bubbles that you see are increased hydrogen. So it's just cleaving the hydrogen and the oxygen. We're not actually adding anything to this water in order to get the increased concentration of hydrogen. All we're doing is separating hydrogen molecules from oxygen molecules, pulling the oxygen out of the water, and then allowing the hydrogen to super concentrate in that liquid. Once that's finished filtering and it has the hydrogen inside, we can then just drink that water and get that increased concentration of hydrogen. So those are two different mechanisms. The company that makes that, uh, Synergy Science, they happen to have also a whole house system. So this is like a portable version. You could also put one on your sink. It will do the exact same process. And this is just you know the one we use for travel, but that's a great way to get hydrogen, especially because we're not adding anything to the water in order to get it. And the levels of hydrogen are really high when you're filtering the oxygen out in that capacity. So three different ways that there's great synergy between molecular hydrogen and molecular oxygen. Number one is the redox balancing, the balancing of the oxidation and reduction inside of our cells, helping to make sure as long as they stay in balance, we don't get an increase in free radical damage to our cells, to our cellular membranes. Next is the balance inside the mitochondria because Oxygen is a rate limiting step of ATP production and the hydrogen gradient, 
is a rate limiting step to ATP production. And so making sure we have enough of both of those gases will ensure the fact that the mitochondria, the electron transport chain inside the mitochondria has the ingredients that it needs to keep churning out ATP and making cellular energy. And lastly, the third one was the synergy between hyperbaric oxygen and molecular hydrogen inside the gut, both of which can play a critical role in balancing the microbiome, making sure that our immune system and our digestive system stay robust and strong and keep nourishing ourselves. So I hope that helps. That's the uh, combination of molecular hydrogen with molecular oxygen and the benefits that can be seen when we start using some of these tools together to improve your health. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.